Hi everyone, just a quick video on how to test your battery voltage. So first of all, you're going to need a multimeter. You can get these for about £10. And what we'll need to do is test the battery, which is a DC volt battery. All batteries are DC voltage. Uh, you can only create electricity in AC and you can only store it in DC. So like any other battery that you'd have on your phone or any device, a car battery is DC voltage. So on your multimeter, get your DC voltage uh, gauge setting. And then if you don't know what to expect, you should always set at the top. But for us, we know that a good battery should have between 12.5, 12.8 volts at rest with no load on it, as this one is here. So uh, with that in mind, we can set it to 20. It's never going to be any higher than that. Turn the multimeter on, and then you've got a negative side of the battery and a positive side of the battery. Most batteries will have it stamped on the casing, which is which. Normally it's ID'd because the red is uh, the positive and the black is a negative, but it's not always the case. And the other easy way to figure out which is which, if none of those things apply, is that your positive terminal is always bigger than your negative. So you've got two leads here. Com is the black one, which is your earth, just as it is on your battery. So black for common earth, which gets plugged in there. And then your other one in this smaller, cheap multimeter, you've got your volts on there as well. So it's set to 20 DC volts. We'll put the, pos the negative uh, lead in there and the positive in there, and we should get a battery voltage reading. So we've got a battery voltage reading of 12.59, which is perfectly healthy. Again, anything up to about 12.8 would be a, a brand new perfect battery. Anything under about 12.2, you're going to start getting uh, starting problems. 11.8 is classed as dead. So uh, yeah, anything under 12.2 and you've probably got a degraded battery. Over time, over life cycles, constantly going, uh, starting and, and stopping, the plates do get uh, clogged up and therefore they don't discharge. Remember, voltage is the push or the pressure in the battery that's going to then push the uh, current and the flow of electrons around this circuit so this is stored pressure and all we're doing is doing a parallel reading so there's still the complete circuit going around the car uh, all we're doing is taking a reading off the battery and uh, and that's it 12.9 volts hope that makes sense thanks